I'm married. I'm married to the village. I have like uh, less than 30, actually less than 25 kilometers now. Yeah, for me to enter village. Yeah, boy, to the village now. Almost the village, guys. Finally, guys, I'm home. Yeah. Baba. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Andy. Hey. Oh, good morning, people. Yeah, it's uh, it's early in the morning, and I'm leaving Narok to the village. Yeah, I'm leaving Narok now. It's so cold. It's very cold here. Yeah, it's late. Uh, I stopped over in Narok and I just want to take a, a departure, we call it a departure, it's very dark. So welcome to our cycling adventure from Narok to Kisi. As you join us to explore the stunning landscapes and vibrant culture of this beautiful region in Kenya. So. I started my journey from uh, Narok, as you can see a beautiful, a beautiful view alongside the, the, the road and uh, before we hit the road I had to take the moment to appreciate our gear and prepare for the journey ahead, you know safety first. Yeah so we, we are starting a ride in Narok. And uh, Narok is uh, known for its uh, vast savannas and rich Maasai heritage. You know, as we pedal away, the scenery unfolds, revealing the breathtaking beauty of the Great Rift Valley. So as we go, keep an eye out of, um, you know, keep an eye out for wildlife. The area is home to diverse animals and uh, you might catch a glimpse of, uh, um, you know, zebras and uh, giraffes and uh, monkeys along the way. Yeah, so we, uh, as we climb through rolling hills, the train challenges, but the views are absolutely worth it. Yeah, each turn offers a new perspective of uh, the landscape. Yes, you can see the beauty and uh, the greenish. Yeah, brings uh, you know the wind and um, a stunning um, breeze. Yeah, you know alongside we we also took a break to experience the local culture. And uh, stopping at the market, we can test fresh fruits and interact with the friendly locals who embody the spirit of uh, this region. Yeah, so as we as we approach Kisi, um, this town is bustling with energy and charm. Yeah, let's take a moment to explore what it has to offer. Yes, yeah, you can see the beauty and uh, you know the view. It's a uh, very, it's somewhat cool. It's very cool. Yeah, you can tell like um, you are somewhere. Very cool. You can see the hills and the uh, mountains. I climbed a lot of hills, you know, pedaling through alongside this road from uh, Naro heading to Kisi. Uh, you know, viewing uh, some beautiful, beautiful mountains on the road, though it um, it was somewhat challenging, but um, I had to, you know, keep on and keep on and keep on cycling because I had to make it to the village. Yeah, despite 
you know challenges so there are like uh, trucks, uh, trucks moving at a um, high speed I had to keep on moving I had to keep on pushing although you know uh, you know pedaling and cycling sometimes you get tired but um, I had to push I had to push because I had to do this this is what I wanted to do After long cycling, I finally entered um, a town called uh, Bomet. You can see the signpost. It's um, a town known for a lot, actually. Found in Rift, uh, Rift Valley. It's a beautiful, a beautiful town. So I had to, you know, I had to cycle through it as I'm heading to a town called Kaplong so cycle with me let's see what it gives us hope you wanna enjoy I was stopped by the police on my way to Cap Long uh, because I think because they saw me um, recording so they thought like um, I was recording them yeah but they had no harm so they had to let me go continue with my journey
After cycling for more than 200 kilometers, that is from Naroko town, I found myself in the beautiful land of Kisi. So welcome to Kisi and this is Kisi. Kisi located in southwestern Kenya is a vibrant town known for its lush landscapes and rich cultural heritage. Nestled in the highlands, it's surrounded by rolling hills, tea plantations, and bananas farms, creating a picturesque setting. You can see the tea plantation everywhere surrounding the beautiful, beautiful region of Kisi. Farming is a vital part of life here, with the tea and bananas being key exports that is what they depend on the fertile soil and favorable climate make this region one of Kenya's agricultural powerhouses. Kisi is also famous for its uh, arts and craftsmanship, particularly soapstone carving which we want to see in our, our next episode that you can find beautifully crafted sculptures and uh, decorative items each telling a unique story and reflecting the local culture like elephants, animals and many others. So the town itself is lively and bustling with vibrant markets where vendors sell everything from fresh produce to handmade goods. It's a perfect place to experience the warmth of the Kisi people known for their hospitality and friendliness. Culturally, Kisi is rich with traditions, you know, including music, dance, and stalled storytelling. The community celebrates uh, various events throughout the year, you know, showcasing their heritage and bringing people together. Yeah, whether you're exploring the natural beauty, engaging with local artisans, or experiencing the vibrant community life, Kisi offers a unique blend of culture and uh, scenery that leaves a lasting impression. As we approach Karoka, we are greeted by the picturesque landscapes of Kisi County with its rolling hills and lush greenery. This vibrant town is a hub of activity and culture nestled along the main road that connects various regions like Metamayo, Nyangusu Masimba, and Kisi town, which is the big town of Kisi. Yeah, boy, to the village now. Almost the village, guys. I was using my my phone to record because I also needed to use this camera when I get to near the village. Now I have like uh, less than uh, 30 kilometers to the village. As you ride through Keroka and uh, outside Keroka, let's take a moment to appreciate not just the beautiful surroundings but also the vibrant culture and strong community spirit that makes this town unique. Has made it. I made it. 
Thanks. I'm married to the village. I'm past a place called uh, Keroka. Heading to my village now. As we enter the village in the Kisi region, we are greeted by a landscape rich of natural beauty and cultural heritage. This area is known for its rolling hills and the rest farmland where the locals cultivate a variety of crops including tea, maize. I have like uh, less than 30, actually less than 25 kilometers now. Yeah, for me to enter village. Which many call the cobs and bananas. The fertile soil and favorable climate make this region one of the agricultural heartlands of Kenya. The vibrant green fields are a testament to the hard work and dedication of the farmers who call this place home. As you ride through the village, you will notice the close knit community spirit. Families often work together in their fields, sharing stories and laughter as they go about their daily routines. This sense of togetherness is a hallmark of Kisi culture. The Kisi people are known for their vibrant music and dance, often showcased during community gatherings and celebrations. These events are a wonderful way to experience the local culture and join in the festivities. As we pass through the village, Take a moment to appreciate the traditional homes, often built from mud and thatch. These structures and not just shelters, they represent a way of life deeply rooted in community and family. The beauty of the Kisi region is not just in its landscapes, but also in its people, the warm hospitality of the locals makes every visit special, leaving you with a sense of connection and appreciation for their way of life. So as we go deeper and deeper into the village, join me, your boy, Peter C7, as we cycle together towards my village. This is Masimba. Masimba means lion, guys. Wow, from Keroga to Masimba already, within no minutes. Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. Ooh. Keroga to Masimba. Actually, it's uh, very steep. I have like uh, 
10 kilometers. Ten kilometers to the village. Yeah, that's like uh, that's like no man's business. It's like a cake. This is police. Very, very, very corrupt. Kenya. I don't know where Kenya is heading to. Very, very corrupt actually. Those who know Masimba, who know Kisi well, yeah, they know Masimba. So from here I go to Kiamokama, then Yangusu. I'm almost home. And, uh, this is kind of a hill, so I had to push it. Yeah, I don't want to ride because I'm, I'm somehow tired, but uh, I'll see. to a place called Nyangusu a few kilometers from here actually it's like uh, four kilometers yeah then I'll be home yeah let me see what time is there oh it's 11 it's 11 a.m. yeah so a few minutes from now I'll be home guys yeah so Keep watching. This is Kiamokama. Kiamokama, here I come. is home guys I can't believe it that I'm home Let's go 
goes to Kiamokama, this goes to my village. My baby is here. And your boy. Know there is a newly constructed college here. I just saw it. I never left it here. You know, it has been a year since I, I passed through this road here. Somerwise College. What do we call this? Guys, in the comment section, how do we call this? This is what I'm doing here. Is it pedaling? I don't know. Is it pedaling? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Very clear. Yes, yes. What's on our fresh? is very clear I can do anything but still careful this is where I call home Almost Nyangusu. And it's telling me NGS five kilometers. Five kilometers to home. Let's call Nyangusu NGS. Yeah. Only five kilometers. Then I get to the village. Hey. This mountain was tough. So tough, you can see. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Guys, finally I'm home. Yeah, I'm home, guys. And uh, this is uh, Nambuso. Yeah, this is uh, the home market. It's called Nyanguso. I just wanna go deep again like into the village this is the market that uh, we do shopping yeah this is where we do shopping
Princess Nyan goes to market. So I want to take my right. So this one goes to Kilgoris. And this one now goes to the village. Yep. So I have like uh, one kilometer. I have like one kilometer to, to get home. You can see like business here is uh, all over the chapel. We call it the black gold. I don't know if I. Uh, I want to take some. I want to have something before I go. I don't know. Yeah, it's a small hotel up there where we usually eat. I don't know if it's open. So I want to go and see. Yeah. My baby's here. That hotel used to be. I think it's supposed to be somewhere here. Oh. This guy left. This is this is home, guys. I'm home. Yeah, and these are the bricks. This is how we made the bricks here. Very mine. Heading See. home now. We are selling bricks. One goes uh, ten shillings. Yeah, that was close. Grandma. Ah, Okoro! Why did it? That's my grandma, but uh, she didn't see me because I'm wearing um, an helmet and uh, the sunglasses, so she didn't see me. I asked you what this is, how do we call this? Is if it's padding, you you haven't told me yet. This is the quarry place where we quarry sand. Students here. Oh, I'm talking about the road. Here. Another quarry here. Actually, 
people have died inside here in the name of uh, harvesting sand and the last one huh? on ballast but men have really died from uh, I mean inside these quarries I'm home guys I'm home and I want to say thank you for watching yeah I want to say thank you before I get inside inside the compound well this is where I call home a beautiful place a beautiful Very beautiful breeze we have here. This is where I call home. Yeah. Your boy made it, guys. I can't imagine like this happened. I really can't imagine. Like with this baby, I can cycle more than 500 kilometers to get home. Crazy. Crazy, like crazy. Nobody will never believe this. Nobody will never believe this actually. But I go home. I want to show you the village as we end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. show you something here before I get home I'm gonna show you my one of my former schools you know I I school so many school this is a uh, Nyamesocho St. Peter's Nyamesocho boys yeah one of my former schools here this is a uh, Kisi you can see pure box 13 83 40 200 Kisi you know Many may not believe, but guys, I'm home. Yep. That's one of the schools I, I went to. Finally, here I am, a place called home. Is there a diversion? Oh, oh. I made this road, I didn't know. Finally, in the village, a place we call home. I want to reduce the gears. Gonna climb this mountain. Nico oh. Lidia Sare. These are neighbors.
finally. Thank you, Lord. I'm home safe. No injuries, nothing. Thank God. This is the village and uh, we have our church here. Yeah, that is the main gate. And your boy here. village we thank God guys yeah it's only God who who can do this it's by the will of God I'm home safe so I want to thank you so much yeah for watching this video this far yeah may God may God may all my father protect you finally guys I'm home yeah I want to end this video here yeah and I want to say thank you so much but before that one I see grandma is around. I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi to grandma. Because she's just here. Yeah. Hey, it's just inside. Baba! Hey! Oh, no. <laughs> no, hey. Hey. No, hey. No, we can still get some dogs. Be your gabs. Eh? Yeah, we have which good. Eh? Oh, I had a little chat with my grandma, though she wasn't feeling well. Yeah, she has been having a problem with her, her eyes. So she was telling me that um, she was just coming from hospital. And um, her eyes still are really a problem. So I still can't see. Yeah, but uh, she is getting better. We pray for her. To get better soon. Okay, Italian demo yet. Yeah, so guys, that was grandma, and uh, I'm home finally. I don't know what time it is. Oh my goodness, it's uh, actually 5.05 p.m., and I want to end this video here. I'm home finally I made it thank you so much for watching this video and uh, thank you so much for supporting your boy um, thank you let's see each other in our next video bye for now guys